नमस्कार I am the president of uh, Nimkar Agricultural Research Institute. It's also called Nari, and I'm also Anil's wife. <laughs> so Nari is a small, uh, not-for-profit institute, and it was started by my father in 1964 uh, as a research division of uh, Nimkar Seeds, which is the seed company which he had earlier started. And then it was, was separated as a trust and a society in 1968. And since then, it has been functioning. So in 1981, uh, Anil and I came back from the United States. And that's when we started the renewable energy work, which he has uh, written about in his book, uh, Romance of Innovation, which will be released by Dr. Raghunath Mashelkar today. And we are really thankful to him for taking out time from his such busy schedule to uh, come to this ceremony. So Nari mainly does work in crop improvement and uh, agronomic practices uh, throughout. But recently, we have also started some work in animal husbandry. And then since 81, we have been working in renewable technology and innovation in this area. So. Uh, we have now gathered here today to release this book, Romance of Innovation, written by Anil. And um, along with all the dignitaries on the dais, I would like to welcome all of you who have come here. Uh, and many of you, ha ha you, of you have read the book, but um, some of uh, you may not have. But now, since it's an e-book, which was done by CDAC, uh, it should be easily accessible to everybody. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed it, for one, because I could relive the romance of those old days. And though I didn't have the major part in all this work, I did have, uh, uh, I was actually uh, there when it all happened. So I may not have been actively involved, but I was uh, there. So thankfully, Many of the pleasant memories have remained, but all the trials and tribulations which Anil had to go through, uh, you, you forget all those bitter things. So that is one pleasant uh, memory. So another reason I was very happy to read this book was because all along I always felt that it was a big burden on my head that I brought him uh, uh, told him not to follow his lucrative career in the United States. And uh, he had to face so much hardship here. But then after reading the book, I said, it wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> so well, jokes apart, uh, it is really a um, journey which is not very easy for him. And it was quite a hardship. But there are very few people who can pass through such circumstances which are quite adverse. And at the end of the day, have a feeling of satisfaction that something of uh, substance has been achieved. So I feel Anil is one of those individuals who persevered through the adversities because he believed in his capabilities. Therefore, I'm confident that all of you, especially the young people who read this book, will be inspired to achieve even greater feats and on this note, I once again welcome everybody and call on Anil to uh, introduce our guests today. Thank you, Nandini, for telling the audience 